Chapter 3. At the mess hall, I sat with Sandy and Leah. I told them about my dream and about the tracks beneath my window. That's pretty freaky, Leah said. In your dream, did you see what the creature looked like? Sandy asked. Not really, I said. It had red eyes and maybe a big nose. I guess I don't remember anything else except the fact that it was gross looking. It was probably just someone trying to scare you. That's all, Leah offered. She took a sip of her orange juice and returned the glass to the table. You know, just a prank. I shook my head. Those footprints don't look like they were made by a human, I said. I sat quietly during the rest of breakfast. Sandy and Leah were got along well, and they talked a lot to one another. All around me, dozens of kids talked and laughed and ate cereal and French toast. One dark-haired kid at the end of our table was really loud and obnoxious. He threw a strawberry and hit another kid on the other side of the mess hall, then pretended that he hadn't done anything. Even camp has a troublemaker, and it looked like he was going to be the one this week. But I kept thinking about the creature in my dream and the footprints. Leah is right, I told myself. It was probably someone just playing a prank. A joke. There is no such thing as monsters. Our patrol sent, spent the morning hiking and learning the names of all the trees. I even caught a grass snake. Then we all went out to out in canoes and rode around the lake. It was a blast. We splashed other kids in our patrol with our paddles, and by the time we were done, all of us were soaked. By lunchtime, I had forgotten all about my dream and the footprints. Not for long. Our afternoon activity was swimming. Our patrol and several other patrols may met down by the beach. The day was hot and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Our patrol leader pointed to the, bu the buoys. Nobody goes beyond that point, he ordered. Stay in the swim area. Everybody understand? We all nodded and spoke up, eager to dive into the cool water. You've got 30 minutes. When the bell rings, get dried off and meet by the flagpole. I was the first to hit the water, followed by my fellow members of the Wolf Patrol. The water was cool and fresh. There was a diving board at the end of the dock, and we took turns diving. I guess Sandy hadn't been paying attention, because when I saw her, she was a few feet beyond the buoys, outside of the swimming area. Sandy, I called out. She turned her head. You're outside of the swim area. She waved and then began swimming back towards shore. I turned around to jump off the diving board, but in the next instant, I was stopped by Sandy's piercing scream. I spun, just in time to see a horrified look on her face. Something's got me, she screamed in panic. It's got me, it's got my leg. Suddenly, she was pulled beneath the surface. Sandy was gone.